Hello! Are you feeling incredibly anxious at all moments of the day and you have no clue where to start with fixing this feeling? Great! Not great, but I can help. Well, I can start to... whatever. It's fine. <laughs> First thing you want to do is calm yourself down and find in the moment coping mechanisms. If you're panicking, there are multiple ways to calm yourself down and bring yourself back into the moment. These are called grounding methods. One of the most common are controlled breathing exercises, like breathing in for seven seconds, holding for seven seconds, breathing out for seven seconds, holding for seven seconds, and repeating. Another good method is what I've personally dubbed the three senses method, which is when you take note of three things you see, three things you hear, and three things you taste. Whatever three senses you've chosen, really. The next step to dealing with these things uh, is figuring out what makes you so anxious in the first place. If the thing that's making you anxious is something really easily identifiable, like a family issue, work issues, or being really overwhelmed by schoolwork, then you probably have a normally functioning brain. <laughs> but if the things like standing in a line, talking to a cashier, tripping when you're walking in an empty room or becoming involved in a traumatic event when going about a normal day like just walking through your own room and going i'm probably going to get murdered in the next five seconds that's not normal and if you think about these things frequently Seek a therapist because you may have an anxiety disorder or something causing anxiety as a comorbidity. Sometimes something as simple as a texture in food or the way my clothes feel on my body can make me feel anxious and irritated for the rest of the entire day. So it's all right. You do not need to be embarrassed about that feeling. Once you've found a cause, the next step is action. Whether or not you need a therapist, you need to slow down and try to find things that can help you. If it's something smaller, then just take a second to stop what you're doing, reorganize your thoughts, and adjust your surroundings. If you can simply like take off your jacket or rearrange your desk space, then do it immediately. It'll make you feel better. For larger or you have a ton of issues, there's multiple things you could do. Um, I'd personally suggest picking a place in your house to keep clean, even if it's just your bed. And that'll be like your little hub to go to when you feel panicked or you need to complete some work. Um, then just make a list of things you need to do, homework, chores, and include things like packing bags for a trip or moving houses. And after that's done, chunk up what you need to do even further if you need to and number everything from what's most to least important. And if you're doing this, tell someone else to hold you responsible and keep you on track if you need that. Uh, sometimes I do. <laughs> Try writing things on a calendar for the future or keeping a journal when you're overwhelmed by emotions and you need somewhere private to vent. Uh, Instagram is not always your best option. Um, after you've organized your thoughts and tasks, you've gotta find a way to relax. Ironic, but totally ignoring the world for a couple hours every now and then is absolutely better than trying to be productive at all times. And when you're trying to relax, don't text or get on TikTok. Instead of texting, try calling a friend, and TikTok is just totally mindless. It's not something to zen you out. It's something that you're ignoring even your own thoughts with. Uh, gaming is good, but if you're getting angry, this is just going to increase your stress. If you know you're going to hit something, take a break. The best hobbies would be physical things like jogging or even jump roping. Many people need to see physical results to be satisfied with their hobbies, so if you'd like something more instant, then try filling a page with different simplistic doodles. Sewing, gardening, and woodworking would be hobbies that are more money and time, but incredibly rewarding. Try doing all of these things outside when it's sunny, even gaming, if you have a Switch or just mobile games on your phone. Um, most importantly, find people to talk to, people that you trust and you know you can turn to. 
uh, listen and consider their advice. If it, you know it won't work for you, then it just, it won't work for you. Um, the worst thing you can do is self-medicate. Don't do it. You can become emotionally addicted to anything, even weed. Yes, you can get addicted to weed in a certain way. Um, and doing these things over and over when you're stressed will make your mind not be able to cope by itself when it's when you're stressed i put in me playing splatoon terribly i wanted to redeem myself that's what the next clip is okay thanks bye (laughs) 